Okay, let's examine each equation and determine whether or not it is true for all positive values of x and y. The first equation. This equation is not necessarily true and we can show this by way of counterexample. So we'll eliminate the first equation. On to the second equation. This equation is not necessarily true either. The square root of this expression is actually equal to x squared times y to the power of 8 and our proof is as follows. So we'll eliminate the second equation. Now on to the third equation. Let's begin by simplifying the left hand side and when we do so we see that this does not equal x squared y squared so we'll eliminate the third equation. Now on to the fourth equation. Notice that on the left hand side here we have y times root x plus a second y times root x. We can simplify the left hand side to be 2y times root x. Now here comes the big step. We're going to rewrite 2y as the square root of 4y squared. And now we can combine the two roots on the right hand side to be the square root of 4xy squared. So we see that the fourth equation is indeed true, so that is our right answer. However, let's just verify that the fifth equation is not true. Using this formula, we can show that the right-hand side must be xy all to the power of y. So we can eliminate the fifth equation, and we see that our answer must be d.